In this video tutorial, I will show you how to integrate Canva and MailChimp if you're looking to create your emailed newsletters in Canva then you're in the right place guys. In this video, we'll show you step by step how you can connect your Canva account with MailChimp to streamline your marketing efforts. Stay tuned. So you will first need to create a MailChimp account. That is easy. So type in MailChimp.com in the browser, then click on that yellow big button and then you will choose the free plan and simply complete the form. Okay guys, so, the, so today I will show you how to integrate Canva and MailChimp. So we will go and search for a newsletter. So in order to do that, we will go and search for a newsletter. So we will search for, well, any newsletter basically, right? We can do one from scratch or we can create one um, or just redesign one that we have here. But I like the... Um, the options that we have here and I like I love the layout right as you can see this one comes with two pages so this makes it even better and easier for me to create my newsletter so we'll customize this template right so we are now into templates and if you look carefully over here if you look carefully over here you will see many more different template styles that you can choose however if you don't like the colors you you can also if you don't like the colors you can also make changes to the colors here as well and this is how you do that so you go into styles and you can choose a color that is best fitting with your brand guidelines or your brand color. These are some color palettes here that I have uploaded and you can also do the same. Guys, I have created a video where I showed you how to set up your brand in Canva. Okay, it is this video here, but you can view it after watching this video. Okay, so let us look into any of the colors here. You can also use the color templates that Canva offers you, which are these lovely templates at the bottom here. Okay, so you can just click on any template and it will change throughout the document. Just keep on clicking and it will mix and match the colors and you can stop when you are satisfied with the color that you're looking for. So this is my brand colors that I am using here for my YouTube channel and I really like this color. So let us do the same for this um, page as well and there you go. Okay, so we will enlarge this so we can further make some customization. The checklist. Um, we can change this to rockstars. I think this is beautiful, right? Of course, you can change this as well. Place to get the deets. <laughs> okay, I think that's kids' term for saying details. That's how young people say details. Okay, the deets. Okay, so in order to change the colors, uh, the pictures. <clears throat> In order to change the pictures, you just click on the picture and you go into photos and you will search for any picture you would like to switch this out with, right? So you can switch with this picture here and we have sandals. So let's just, let us look for, you know, some other sandal pictures, right? We have these, but I don't think these will fit in properly, but we can work with it. We also want to remove this. When you're removing the picture and you click on it, it will show you this placeholder, the photo placeholder okay so we're looking for summer colors okay so summer colors right we can put since this is fashion let's search for fashion colors and it will give us something really cool okay so we will use this right here it's beautiful and we have instant icons you know eyewear okay summer fashion eyewear so you click on that and we can put this here of and you click on it and you drag it where you want it where you want to put it and this is all looking very good already as you can see of course you can't see the text properly but this can be adjusted you can put something at the back but we're not going into the design of the template okay so for the integration part now let us go into share and we go into more you scroll all the way down to messaging and we have MailChimp right, right here. So you can click on MailChimp here 
and uh, of course we don't want three pages we only want two so we will just remove the third page and click on done and save so now we will view on mailchimp so now you are in mailchimp so now you will see everything that was downloaded which which are these can ignore these please that was my testing so these were um, downloaded and you can go to all campaigns and we want to create a new email campaign okay so we create campaign by clicking on this button and we click on design email you can also go into email templates all right guys and create um template here as well okay so basically this was one template that we used so you can reuse this um click on edit and um you can replicate this okay to use again right by changing the email information but we'll go into create new template and basically let us just choose on basic um one column template and we're going to delete everything here right delete everything okay we will leave the social media handles and we will also leave this information that again you can change and customize but if your email information your design templates already have the address and so forth you don't need to include that then we're going to go over to image card and just bring over an image card to the body and we're going to browse and upload our first page which is this and you click on in you upload our first page which is this and you, then you click on insert and there you have your lovely email right it's looking great um of course you can click on edit here to do some editing to this so if you want you can crop this down or not all right so we will leave this as is click on save and we can save and close then we can insert another image card here in the body and we will insert our second page upload second page insert okay so you have everything that you need right here everything that you need right here okay now let us go in let's let us edit the second page so you click on edit click on the page then click on edit on the side right um so now you can cut this down or you can leave it as is okay um so we will leave this as is in the past it would have allowed you to crop this properly but for some reason it is not oh let us remove lock dimensions and see if we can crop it yeah so we can crop this okay but we're going to leave it as is. So all you have to do is remove lock dimension, right? If it's, so remove the tick and you can crop this, right? To suit whichever, you know, so you can choose to leave this. You can choose to leave this part or you can put it in a footer. So let us leave, do it like this, right? You click on save and now we have this right it's perfect and of course you can write a little text here save and close then we can go into the footer so we can either leave this image here or we can remove it we should also remove this since we already have some information you know but let us go into image card again and select another image card to put in then we're going to upload image right select this one here um, insert and we're going to click on edit so we already have the top part so we want the bottom part in this section so you're gonna of course you're gonna click on unlock and and adjust to fit and click on save right so this is how it is looking for now you click on this right here and you can include some link if you like right 
so you can insert the email address and so forth but this is just if they click on the entire picture i don't want to link the entire picture right so as i said you can leave this as is or i would prefer to just link these link at the bottom okay so let's just remove this or you can type something you know in order to get promotion click here or something like that you know you can type this let's let's say okay so in order to benefit from special click here so you can link this word right here um what will i link it to let us just use canva and you click on save right but these here cannot link cannot be linked okay so when you click on this you cannot link um you can link to email right you can link to you know um the anchor link you can link to file if you like but no right but we will not link to any of this so as i said i will leave this as is right just for your sake it's nice to have this looking nice and cute and here's another option here in order to click you, you click on this so this is linkable however i would prefer to remove this and simply link you know our url see how easy it is and you can change the style and so forth right and you can even add another service if you like Okay, so you have the style, you can change the style, you can change background, you can change setting here. And I will not go into the details, but as you can see, you have different types of icons you can use. You can use all black, you know, to fit with the theme, you know, so you can mix and match these to suit. Okay, and of course, this information here, if you want, you can also take this information from your image so let us go into here so we would we don't want that so we delete this part and we're gonna insert a block here and we're gonna upload an image so we, we will upload this so we will use this image right here click on insert and scroll down click on edit right so we will click on lock um, dimensions because we don't want it locked and uh, well basically we don't have any um, address here but if you did you can do you can do this as well but we do have connect with us which is cute and I think we can use this here see how easy this is and of course in here you can easily type in your address information right here at the bottom okay so we will click on this and preview enter preview mode so this is how it is looking on the desktop see how cute and simple this is uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm -mm. it is really nice then you have the mobile look see how cute this looks guys you can create this easy and simple okay so now what we'll do is test on email so send a test email so what we i will do is enter my email here okay and send test email right so you said bon voyage test email <laughs> click on okay and now i will open the email and this is my email right here right and there you go this is my email and this is it guys see how simple this was now you know how to integrate canva here and mailchimp um, this integration makes it easier and more efficient to create beautiful newsletters feel free to try it out you will see how much time you will save if you love what you saw and you want to create more printables and dig digital files guys then look at this video right here.